Hello and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial I want to show you how you can create this endless drive. So let's go. So we will start up with the vehicle template and I prepared the static mesh here. Link is in the description. So this will be the part that will spawn endlessly. The first thing is we go right click, blueprint class actor. Let's call this spawn part. Open this up. And the first thing is we go to add an atom cube, atom root component. The reason for this is that we can manage now everything else and move it around without changing the prevo point. So we go back here, select our static mesh that we want and go add static mesh and add it to the cube. And the good part now is we can just move it up here in this direction so that the cube is exactly on the begin of the bridge because this will represent our spawn point later. The second part is we select the bridge and add an arrow. The reason is simple that we can see later which direction our spawn point have. So let's place this in front of here like that and this will also be the next spawn point. Let's go back to our level here and place the spawn part into the world, open up the details and set the location to zero and this way it's easier to spawn the items. For this, let's open up the level blueprint and we need one variable here that's called spawn. Spawn is a transform like that. Then we need to begin play event. We go to the level, select our spawn part here Inside the level blueprint, we say right click, create a reference to spawn part. We get the arrow, this one here. We get the world transform of the arrow. And then we just connect the spawn point with the transform here. Then we need an event tick. We get the player pawn, we get the location, so the actor location. We take out our spawn transform here, right click, split structure pin. We go from the vector and say subtract from the location of course. We get the length, so the vector length. Pull this out a little bit. Then we say less, then I recommend the value of 30,000. Then we need a branch, of course, to ask like that. On true, we want to spawn the actor from class and we will spawn, of course, our spawn part. The transform is, of course, right click split structure pin. And this will be, of course, our spawn location, rotation and scale. From the return value, we get the arrow again. This one, we get the world transform again and just want to set it to the spawn point like this. So what we do here, we get the player location compared with the spawn location. If it's under 30,000, then we can spawn it. Otherwise it will not spawn. So this is to avoid performance issues. Then we spawn it and when we spawn it, we set it to the next spawn point so that the parts can attach to each other. Let's go back to the begin and copy this part to our spawn part. We can replace the spawn location with an get actor location. So the bridge itself connected. The vector length is greater than in this case 30,000 again. We need a event begin play, we need a branch as well, like that. On true, we want to destroy the actor. On false, we need a little delay of, I recommend one second and go back to the branch. In this way, we will destroy the actor so that we avoid performance issues. The last part is we want to avoid that the player can drive backwards. For this, let's go back to the viewport First of all, let's go to our cube and make it invisible like this one. Then we add a component, a box collision. The box collision has to be the same size as the bridge itself, so our part here. 
like that. And then we go here to the events on component and overlap. We just go to the other actor and cast to our, in this case, sports car. We take out the box here and set the collision profile name to block all, like that. And we can uncheck the update overlaps. Great, let's see if this works. We hit play. The bridge is spawning, as you can see. We can drive forward. This will be go endlessly. And when we try to drive backwards, we get blocked by the alpha wall. Great. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you have any questions, please let me know. And yeah, goodbye.